Hello viewers, SuperGT here. So this is update 1.15 on the Gran Turismo Sport. Let's bring this microphone a little bit closer, shall we? Yeah. Um, let's, let's have a quick look at this update. What does it bring? Why are we doing a live stream on this? Known issues. Oh, that's not good. There's some, there's some issues with it already. Let's have a look at what this brings hello everyone welcome to the stream um clickbait at its finest well you'll see that this update brings super gt cars and sukuba so here are the cars list of the cars that so 13 new cars added including a couple of group x red bull cars interestingly we also get here um, Group 2. So these Super GT cars, a lot of them are in Group 2. Uh, Raybrig NSX is a concept car, though, that one. Then we have, I believe, is this the uh, Lexus RCF, I think, is also a Super GT car, Group 3. Then we got the Group 2 version here, the GT500, yep. And where's the other one here? The Nissan Motor Alltech GTR which is the car, the Super GT car you're getting for Forza 7, actually. So, so yeah, group they're group 2, so we don't normally, it's normally group 1, 3, and 4 we, we race, and then we've got some group 2 cars, and then, of course, here, point 2, Scuba Circuit has been added, a couple of new little leagues in campaign mode, Oh, there's actually a new endurance race. That'd be pretty cool. I, I sh should really do some endurance races on a live stream at some point. Um, sport mode. Here we go. If a car pushes another car into a wall, the penalty applied to the player of the car that caused the incident will now be more severe. In a collision between two cars, the car behind will no longer receive a more severe penalty. A time penalty will no longer be applied to a car spinning out of control. So there's some little tweaks there on sport mode, which, okay, they, they're always tweaking it, which is good, and then some other things, which we don't care about. Let's have a look at this campaign quickly, where they've added this new mode. Um, yeah, okay, I haven't, I haven't really touched this much at all. And this NGTR Cup. So I'm guessing this is a new one. Sakuba circuit, there we go. Let's, I wanted to have a look at that endurance race, because there weren't many to begin with. There's only oh, there's only three. Oh no, there's another one in here. Okay. There's two races here. I've, I haven't done any of them. But I think this is for another live stream. Oh no, there's five races now. There's five endurance races. I think they'd all take about an hour each. So we definitely do those at some point. Professional League. Here, here we go. Here's a suit. Now this brings up, this brings back some memories. The All Japan GT Car Championship. Wow, it's like I'm playing Gran Turismo 3 all over again. So, Maggiore Suzuka. Let's give them a quick go. I haven't actually driven them yet. Oh, okay. I need to buy them first. Let's see how much they cost. Um, Grand Central. So we've got a Honda, NSX, Nissan GTR, and a Lexus. Let's buy the two Japanese cars first. Right. Um, oh, Lexus is Japanese, what I'm talking about. There we go. Very nice looking car. So this... This is one of the new cars. No, no, this one is, sorry. And this one is as well. So this is the Super GT car. I, I do really like the Lexus in Super GT. Um, both looking the same, we'll just get that one. 800,000. Luckily I've got quite a lot of credit, so. Yes, I'll be, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go through um, the new stuff first, have a quick go and then we'll get around to do some lobbies a bit later so do stick around, we will do some open lobby gameplay where you can 
race against the man himself and punt me off the track or do whatever. Which is better in your opinion, Forza 7 or Gran Turismo Sport? Well, to be honest, I, I really like both. I'm enjoying Gran Turismo Sport a little bit more at the moment. Oh, what's going on here? But um, Forza Race Championship's going up very soon on Forza 7, so I'm going to be playing that a lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to be playing that a lot when that comes out. Um, Monday it starts, so I need to get going on that. Yeah, luckily I had loads of credits, so I'm, I'm okay for this. But yeah, if you want to buy all of them, it's going to cost you a couple of million. So this, oh, it looks so... These are the kinds of cars we want to see in these games. I love these. Just proper race cars. And the last one is the Nissan. So this car, you may be familiar with it from Forza 7 and Forza 6. Uh, there we go. 800,000 as well. Just purchase this bad boy. Um, the flag behind me is the Philippines. Are you going to be in the Forza Championship? I'm going to try... Um, I'm going to do my best to qualify. The thing is, they haven't released how many... They haven't said how many people are going to the final each time. I, I think it might be 24, but I don't know. Um, so I'll just do my best to qualify, see what happens. If I find good enough, then I'm good enough. I mean, I finished 18th at Le Mans in the world, so... I mean, I did well there, but I don't know if I'm actually really the 18th best in the world. It's hard to say. Is Group 2 much faster than Group 3? You know what? I don't actually know. I haven't driven these cars yet. Um, seeing as it's a Japanese car, we'll go around... Uh, we'll go around... So which, which one should I drive? Personally, I would pick the Lexus, but um, we'll go with what you guys want, to, want want me to drive. Have you got the VR headset? I don't yet, but I heard the prices have gone down, so I might consider getting one very soon. Lexus NSX. Let's see what people say. I've become a big fan of Lexus. You know, I quite like the some of their cars. NSX have got no power apparently. NSX, NSX, Lexus. I'd say most people are saying the, the NSX, actually. Or the Lexus. is actually very close. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go for this. Um, oh, I missed a donation. Sorry. I, I can just see that. Infinity43 donated £5. Hope you had fun in Seattle. Yeah, um, it was really good, actually. Really good. Um, it's a really cool city. I'll make a video on it very soon. But um, you may remember the... Seattle Circuit on Gran Turismo, the old Gran, uh, Gran Turismo games. I actually saw, I actually walked around like the beginning of that track. It's based on a real, like real street. Um, so that'll be in my video. I'll make a little video on it. But yeah, it's really cool to, to visit the city. It's a cool city. It's a really nice city. Really beautiful. Uh, just wasn't there long enough, basically. Um, would love to go back one day. Okay. Um get everything sorted there's so many wires and headphones i've got to sort out okay right let's get these oh right i need this one here too yeah like the jumps up seattle i walked up that street where you go up the jumps and wow it is steep so no wonder you were jumping all over the place okay let's give this race a go and then we'll do a quick race at sakuba and then i guess we'll do an open lobby Okay, so hopefully you can hear that okay. I've been to America before, yeah. I went to New York last year. I've been to Hawaii a long time ago. That counts as, Amer as America, I suppose. Okay, um, so it's one of these weird races where the grid is already like really spaced out. Let's see how these things handle. It's my first time driving a Super GT car. What's the nice settings on? Put it down to one. Okay, he's really slow. 
Now this weekend, I, I'm gonna. I've bought a new PC, and I need to kind of build it. So I won't be able to do a live stream until I've done that. Oh, dive bomb. So I'm just gonna take it really smoothly for now. So Suzuka, of course, a legendary Japanese track. Super GT, legendary Japanese series. I'm overtaking these guys really easily. I can I can already tell that they are a little bit quicker than um, Group Three. So it definitely wasn't. It was definitely was the right decision to not group these cars with group three. So that that's a bonus, I suppose. Hopefully they do some group two races on the on the daily races because because um I looked today and I didn't see any. So it'd be nice to do some daily races in these cars. Okay, so that's one that done. So normally around here in the group three you're doing around about that kind of lap time but that was my first lap and I, I don't really know what I was doing so these cars should be maybe two three seconds a lap quicker than a normal group three car feels very grippy indeed I, I'd like to see um, I think I think these cars are very comparable to to DTM. The DTM seem like a bit bulkier and a bit quicker than a typical GT car, and and so do these. That's not a good place to go for a move. Again on the exit instead. There we go. So these cars do feel very nice, actually. Now, Tsukuba, um it's a very small track. And I don't think Super GT cars are going to go well around there. I think it's actually... The, the, the track's too small for them. So I think we're looking at N400 or N600 races around that kind of track. It's a legendary circuit. I mean, I, I don't... I don't really think of Gran Turismo when I think of Tsukuba. I always think of uh, the early Forza games. But it was in the earlier Grand Turismo's. Now I think I could take 130R flat out. Oh, I've lunged. Okay, I'll let him go. He's only AI though. Okay, so normally I do. Uh, so 155 there. And I think the fastest I've ever done in a group three is about a one, or well, at best just below a two. So, yeah, so at least three, four seconds a lap quicker. And I made that mistake on the final chicane. So I haven't really touched this campaign mode. Um, since since it came out, I did quite a lot straight away, but then kind of left it. So I suppose that's for another live stream. And of course, there's five endurance races which we just looked at, which I will get to one day. But these cars do feel very nice, or well, this car does anyway. The yeah, Degna one is a difficult corner. I do often miss my breaking point there too. It's a great track, Suzuka. So many different types of corners. Great challenge. Never easy to hook up an entire lap. We've got fast sweeping corners, we've got slow hairpins, we've got chicanes. We've got great flowing S sequences. We've got lots of straights as well. It's just kind of got everything in this track. You've got a crossover, which not many tracks have. Yeah, Forza Ray I are a bit fast in this. I don't I don't think there's a, s a setting you can change to make them any quicker. 
Okay, let's clear the lift. We're getting quicker and quicker through that, eh? Okay, and I'm way too deep into the chicane. So this is a cool update. It's, it's just good to have um, Tahiti Mahis. What a track, yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's a good update. I mean, you're getting 13 cars and a track for free. That's, I mean, that's good, isn't it? You can't really complain about that too much. So we've got Monza for free now. We've got Sakuba. Got the updated version of the Kyoto track. Just trying to think if there's any other tracks we've got for free. Just trying to go around the outside at Dunlop Curve. A bit dangerous. Again, looking for that move, but it's not a good place to do it. Yeah, Tahiti Maze. There's so many legendary tracks that we'd all love to see. I mean, you got your you got your classics like Trial Mountain, Trial Mountain, uh, Seattle, which we just about, uh, spoke about, um, Grand Valley, High Speed Ring, Autumn Ring. Oh man, I mean, there's so many, so many good ones. We'd, we'd all love to see it come back. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the? the reaction if they announced like Grand Valley Speedway coming back or something or or Trial Mountain that it, it would just everyone would go mental everyone would go mental at least I know I would okay, I'm easily going to win this race I think yeah, high speed ring. Oh man, what a track! I mean, that that really brings me back, jeez, to the Grand Turismo One days. Brilliant track. It's it's so simple, but it's it's a great circuit. I mean, there's so many little tracks. I I don't know if anyone remembers a track called Grind Grinderwald. It was like in. I think it's like a Swiss forest. I think that's where it's set. Even what little ones like that are pretty cool. Go for the pass. We're going to give him much space. And we've got the same car in the lead. But yeah, this car is really nice. I, I like it. Very nice interior. I love the sounds. Although I do think the sounds are something that need to be right on in general in the Gran Turismo games. Do I go for a move into 130R? Yeah, screw it. Let's do it. Done. Oh, it's actually punting me a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go for a quick lap in a, in cockpit view. Let's see if I can do it. It's actually not too hard to, to drive this this view. I, I struggle in Forza. Special stage. Oh yeah, special stage route five and eleven. El Capitan. El Capitan was a great little track as well. Oh yeah, classics. Special stage route five. I mean, that's that's just a classic circuit for Gran Turismo. And I'm, I'm sure we'd all be happy to see even just one of these tracks come back. So down to a 153.1 now. Previous lap. So shaving off even more time. 
So just trying to be really smooth. I'm only six steps down. I think smoothness is the key of this game. Gentle steering, gentle acceleration, gentle braking. It all helps massively. It's actually quite fun driving in this view. I like it. It's hard to see. It's hard to spot your apex, but it's a challenge. Midfield Raceway, yes. Of course, yeah, I forgot about that one. Apricot Apricot Hill, yeah. I remember that one too. Okay, break way too early. Let's see what that lap time is. I think I'll be a little bit down. I'm actually coming up to laps in cars now. Got some traffic to deal with. I think these, yeah, these are group three cars here. So you can see the massive difference between. Oh, almost, almost went off. Um, you can see the massive difference there between Group 3 and Group 2. So for those of you who just joined, the Super GT car which I'm driving, the Lexus, it's a Group 2 car. There aren't many of those in the game, in fact, I don't really recall seeing any others until the Super GT cars came along. Um, but yeah, a lot of these cars here are Group 3, and I'm kind of making sure work of them. Oh, lunged up the inside. Get out of the way, son. Lap seven. Oh, nearly crashed. All right, I break way too late there. The car just gripped. It has gripped. Look at that. Just pull out to the side and boom, I'm gone. But the AI are crap, so there is that too. Yeah, Group 2, yeah, I, I'd agree with that. It seems to just have better mechanic, just better aero grip. They do seem very, very planted, like through the S's, you can feel it on this track. A little bit slower there, but I was spending most of that lap lapping the traffic. Second place is still only two seconds behind, so not over, but I should be comfortable, coming up to the Beetle, wait for that gap to open, there it is, up the inside, so yeah, through here, just the car just goes through very nicely, you see just how much I gain on the Group 3 cars, I'm going to have to go around the outside of the Dunlop Curve, uh, I couldn't quite judge it, okay, there we go. We are away. It takes some getting used to this viewpoint. You, you have to judge everything a little bit differently. I mean, I'm so used to driving chase cam. I've been doing it since I was a kid, since I was really young. So it's hard to just simply change that quickly, but. I'm enjoying this copy view actually. So there are apparently some errors, or not errors, um, glitches or bugs with this update, like sound errors normally, like tyre screeching, menu sounds. So if you do hear something a little bit off, then um, it's just something to do with that update. Super GT. Thank you to Sam Rob 97. Donate 199. 
don't spend it all at once. I'll try not to, my friend, but Easter's coming up. I might need an Easter egg. Many thanks, Sam Rob. Hope you have a good Easter. I do recognise your name. I think you joined my Forza Open lobby. Uh, was it two days ago? Thank you for the donation. 199. 199 pence. Okay, we can take that corner a lot quicker. So three taps down on the first split. I'm gonna really attack this lap. Okay, purple sector, I'm up. Okay, screw the smoothness, I'm just attacking. This is lap nine. It's actually nearly going to be a 20 minute lap, uh, 20 minute race. We really attack that first apex, go out wide on the brakes for the second time. A little bit late there though. Oh, the car wanted to spin on me. You can just see that. Oh man, what I'd do to drive one of these cars in real life. The AI definitely needs to be more difficult. Can we do it flat out? Yes, we can. Easily. And again, I'm breaking way too early for the chicane. Okay, that's a good lap. It should be a 153. There we go. Fastest lap in the cockpit view. Okay, right, no, one more lap. Let's really go for it. Let's attack it, try and get that quickest lap. We don't have any tyre wear to worry about, so every lap should be the same. You just don't want to come up against a back marker at the wrong time. So like, I keep coming up to them at this corner here and it's just, it's just not a good place to be. It's okay, two temps up. 53-1 to beat. Getting, getting to grips with this viewpoint now. There we go. Four temps up now. Another two temps in the second sector. Into the hairpin. Once again, a little bit deep. We're okay. I'm nine seconds ahead of second. And yes, definitely the AI needs some tweaking because there only seems to be one setting for them. And it's. I mean, if you're quite good, you're going to beat them. Okay, this is a worrying moment. So I think I might meet that car just as we get to 130R. That no, should be okay. I'll probably meet him just after. Okay, breaking perfectly this time. Okay, it's the final lap. Let's see what we do. I think that should be a new faster lap. Should be a, a low 52. Well, mid 51 actually. Nice. Um, playing with the controller at the moment. Ah, there we go. 19 minutes. So top three were all the same car as me. But that was a that was a cool little race. Um, I enjoyed that. It's actually really, those cars are really nice to drive, really nice. And we've got 200,000 credits back, because I need some I need some more. After spending about 2 million on the cars. A 151.4, and I don't know how that stacks up. If I mean, if you've done any quicker, do let me know. Let me know how quick you've gone. Do you like the new track? Yeah, we're about to give that a go now. I had to give it a try. Um, I think that was a, a league. Here we go. Have I got the correct car? GTR safety car. Would that be good enough? N400. What car is this? Group X. Um, okay. We'll just give this car a go. Yeah, Sakuba. Legendary little track. I've never 
I haven't driven it on this game. Of course, it's brand new. Simon Basil with a 149.5 around that track in the in the Super GT car. That's a very good time. Very good time indeed. Sukuba, man. Yeah, what a great track. I, I love these small tracks, you know. There, there needs to be more of them. Um, okay, let's just let's get going, shall we? I'm in the safety car like a boss. Can we turn the lights off? I don't know. Those are going to be really annoying. Oh, bike. Okay. Uh, TCS has turned that off. Yeah, this is the thing when you go from a high powered race car to a, to a stock car or near a stock car with crap brakes. Here we are, Sukuba. A little track in Japan. I think it's very popular with drifters. A couple of really long corners. And you've got the shorter version which goes to the right there, but we're doing the full version here. Yellow flag now overtaking. Have a punt, mate. Oh, what's, what's with all these car oops I'm just continuously punting this guy just looking at the guys who have just gone off the track and just seemingly died ok I need to break in a lot earlier this time for this corner ok those sirens I must say are really distracting I'll probably be blind by the end of this race <laughs> sorry mate I've just wrecked a really nice R34 Yes, yeah, Sukuba is a really cool track. I'm gonna go over the grass a little bit. Got everyone sliding everywhere. That's it, out of the way, mate. Yeah, this track will be really interesting. I mean, <laughs> I'm in an N600 car, I think anything higher than that I mean if you did a group if I did the Super GT cars around here that would, it would just be absolute chaos absolute chaos this is funny because this is supposed to be some sort of safety car but I'd say it probably cause more accidents because the lights are just so bloody bright you never want to be blinded so it's like one minute four Stay on. Oh, pushing the track limits there. Okay, where do we go? Go for the undercut on this side. He's taking a really central kind of line there. And the brakes are awful. Okay, it's me to the lead. Mega understeer. <laughs> understeer city. Look at that tyre score, man. Oh, I can really slide this car. AI needs some tweaking, 100%. <laughs> the unsafety car, yeah. If we drove this FRT Tomahawk around here. Oh, no. I reckon the lap times would be like. I mean, I'm doing what a minute here. That car could probably do in 20 seconds. Tire score though. Yeah, so a smaller track here. And it's nice to see some Japanese tracks because Forza only has Suzuka, I believe. I can't think of another one. It used to have Twin Ring Motegi, which is a cool circuit. Shame to see any track disappear off the game, really. So it'd be nice to see Twin Ring come back. But I do love, I do love that Japan is, is such a small country, 
but it has such an amazing culture of cars and racing. If you think about the, the amount of amazing car brands just from Japan, and you think they're just a little, little small island. Okay, one more lap. Oh my god, you see the guy wrestling the wheel, trying to get it to turn. Just get it, just throw it right in there. Get in there, son. Even that, even that le uh, little left-hander there is a bit troublesome. They're going deep. Cut back. Cars all over the shop. Oh, Fuji. Yeah, of course. Yeah, Fuji would be a good track. To me, like I think tracks are really important in a racing game. Um, we, we always see car DLCs and cars being added, but I'd love to see more tracks. Tracks are really good. GTR safety car. I'm winning that one. Okay, so Sukuba, we've seen Sukuba, we've seen Super GT cars. Deep Forest. What a track that was. There's so many good... i, I got to hand it to the makers of this game because they know how to make a fictional circuit. They know... They're all good. I can't really think of a bad one, to be honest. Like, maybe some of these Tokyo Expressways aren't as good as... Tokyo R246, of course. That was, that was a great track. Okay, let's have a quick look what else they've got. <laughs> Red Bull X Junior Series. Yeah, let's, let's put some kids in these X-Class cars, which go 300 mile an hour. Uh, Vision Gran Turismo. I, I haven't really touched many of these, to be honest. Um, it'd be nice if, you, if it told you which ones you've done at all. So I've done one race there, but it doesn't really tell me. I just wanted to have a look at the Endurance League. Oh, we've got our car. Okay. Do you like the M3 that's in that's new in the game? I haven't uh, driven it yet. But I do like... I mean, I do love BMW M3s. What do you think about the future of GT Sport updates? Are they going to continue this trend? I think they will. Um, oh, I just bought that car. Now I have to now get it for free. Um, it seems like they're just going to kind of promote this game a lot more. I don't know what their plans are long term because this is very Gran Turismo Sport is very different than Gran Turismo 1 up to 6 but I, I, I actually really like this game I almost like it more in a way than the old games um, yeah, I was just going to have a look at the um, the Endurance League quickly oh it does tell you okay it does tell you if you won so these, these races I want to do at some point and we could even do them as a marathon live stream where we could do all five of them. So 60 minutes of Nürburgring in an LMP1 car or Group 1 car. Two Porsche races. 30 laps of Suzuka. I mean, that would take... If it's two minutes... No, it's over. It's going to be over two minutes a lap. So maybe up to an hour and a half on that one. And Dragon Trail as well, 30 laps. So those are both very long. Group 3 Endurance Series. Those are both take quite a long amount of time. 25 laps of Bathurst. You're looking at about an hour for both of those. I don't know what group... Oh, hello. Mr Nesbitt donated £5 via Super Chat. Five bags of pork scratchings and a packet of <laughs> streaky bacon on me. I'll be straight down to the shops after this, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you for the donation, uh, Mr Nesbitt. And this is where the open lobby begins. Yes, indeed. So, um, what am I doing? Lobby. So you have to be quick here. Oh, what I was going to look at. Sorry. I just wanted to look at all the cars that we're getting in this update. I didn't. I couldn't quite remember 
I, I mean, I was just so fixated on the Super GT cars that I almost forgot to look at the others. Um, Aston Martin DB11, 16. The 89 M3, uh, 1966 GT40. Uh, Mac 40, I don't know. I can't actually recall what that is. Two X, Group X cars, Super GT, Super GT. Uh, um, 1990 RX-7. There we go. Uh, 97 Skyline GTR and 2017 Nismo. That's pretty cool. So a couple of little classic JDM cars in there as well. Good stuff. Herf Junkie seems like a cool update. Um, I mean, you can you can't complain ever too much if you're getting a free track and a uh, load of cars. And I mean, Super GT cars, a couple of those in there. It opens up a new class, Group Two. Um, so yeah good stuff let's enter some text super gt um space there we go that double space i don't know oh i've actually got i've got some settings loaded I might as well just load these there we go but we are going to do Uh, do fossils first for now or no set by host um we do we do the first race we do a four a four and a four tire and fuel uh group three group two baby bop on da -da 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 -da. just make sure these are okay it looks like it is yep let's go so you have to be quick here and sorry if you don't get in. What's my PSN? The PSN is at the bottom of the screen. So F4H underscore super underscore GT. So let me, let me, that, kind of that way, at the bottom of the screen, follow my finger to the bottom of the screen and you'll see it next to the PlayStation logo. I'd like to see some endurance ra online races, like one hour races or something. Yeah. I mean, there's so many, there's so many things I want to do. So many things. Um, one thing I do want to do is like 200 laps of Suzuka. You know, I've done some endurance races on Forza. I haven't done any on here. Okay, so the lobby's going to fill up very quickly. We're going to change the settings for the tracks, though. Uh, so. Okay, so we're in Super GT car, Sukuba. <laughs> uh, that, would, that would just be mental. That would just be absolutely crazy. We need a, a fairly big open track. Interlagos might be a good shout. Suzuka, we've just done. I've just done that. So, track and trail. Uh, where do we go? Where? We'll do Majore, but one of the full versions. Uh, GP. Seven laps. Yeah, do seven laps. There we go. So who has got in? Uh, still two spaces left. El Nacho Holibre. El Nacho Libre with the, with the banter. I'm a beginner. I'll do my best. Have a good race. Nice to see you again. Nice to meet you. I'll do my best. I'm a beginner. I don't have group two yet. Okay, does no one have group two? You should do. Oh yeah, yeah, you need to buy the cars. You need to buy the car. Um, so if you don't have it, then... Buy. Okay, I've driven the, the Lexus. I'm gonna drive the NSX now. Let's give it a go, Let's see how it goes. Um, hopefully more people will actually enter. I don't know if everyone's actually got the car. Super GT and a Super GT car. Here we go. Well, we've already done one race, but... Here's the NSX. Oh, good, love a good Honda NSX. Okay. Um, so, you guys might may remember the name M. Thomas. He joins a lot of my live streams. He's actually part of F4H now. 
He's joined our squad. We've signed him up. He's that good. How are you group cars to drive? They're very good to drive. Um, think of them as a group three car, but just... Oh, God, look at that. Just a little bit better in all in every regard. They do feel very grippy. I know I just almost spun there, but that was traction based. And they look amazing too, of course. Yeah, they're fun cars. I like them. Maybe I need two traction control. Yeah, a bit of a handful coming out of the corners. It's a good update, yeah, I agree. It's a very good update. I mean, the fact that it's free, it's free, you have to remember that, it's free, you're not paying for it. So, that makes it even better. It's quite a lot of content for free. The track, 13 cars, it's not bad. Now, I know a lot of people say, um, the game didn't start with many cars to begin with, so there is that, I suppose. So, I mean, Forza can just boast. Okay, you're adding cars, but we started with 700 to begin with, so... There is that. But still, we can't complain. Still very good cars to be added to the game. Oh, let's go this side. something I do need to do is move my webcam imagine if they had all the DTM and BTCC if they did that I, I, I think I would have died and gone to heaven there's something about DTM though that tells me that not many games can really have, can get the licenses it seems to be a hard series to kind of get into a game I don't know uh, I mean I'm just guessing really But that's the kind of series we'd like, we'd love to see in any racing game. Even Mario Kart. I'd love to see DTM in Mario Kart. Let's go down to one TCS. Just learn to be a bit better on the throttle. So I tested this, the Lexus Super GT car around Suzuka. It's about, well it's quite a lot quicker, maybe about 10 seconds a lap quicker around there. So there is, there is a big difference. And you can definitely notice it when you're driving. But you do definitely need to drive these cars around the bigger tracks. It won't really work around Suzuka, around Sukuba. Let's go for one more lap. I need to get used to this car around this track. I'm in sixth place. Well, of course, my webcam is blocking. Oh, I'm in seventh now. My webcam is blocking the, uh, the leaderboard. Yeah, sorry, it is pixelated. Um, what I will say is, my PC is on the way out, the current one. And it hopefully should get better. But um, yeah, I'm building a new PC this weekend, so my streaming ability will be a lot better next week. So this should be the last stream where we get these issues. spun it see how easy it is so this guy in the lead is about three seconds quicker than me so I need uh, I need to improve quite a lot
just finished this lap. 153, 68. I'm still quite a bit off. Let's go back into the pits. Except friend requests. Let's have a quick look. I've, I, think, I think I've probably got loads. Let's have a look. 52, okay. Can't even load. I'll do them all later. Um, what was I going to do? Move my webcam. Do, 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 do. Or should I move it here? I think uh, about here. Do, 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 do. Got to move all these silly little things as well. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Still I rise. Okay, let's get this race started. I need to go to the track first, though. Race start. Okay, my lap time wasn't very good. I was 14. I just wonder what the... Maybe this NSX isn't as good, or... I don't know. Or I'm not as good. Okay, no. The NSX is at the front, so it's just me being crap. Oh no, I'm on pole. Right, okay. We'll see how this goes, because I didn't look very quick in that practice. So this would be interesting. <laughs> I don't like being on pole. Rolling start, ladies and gentlemen. Seven laps. We've got a bit of tyre wear, a bit of fuel, but I don't know if we have to pit. And I'll try to do my sums a bit better this time, because the last time I, I ran out of fuel on multiple occasions. Okay, let the games begin. On the road, come on. Uh, okay, we're still there. Do I think it's better to brake and accelerate with uh, triggers compared to a button? Definitely, 100%. With a button, you can't really modulate brake or the throttle, it's just on or off. Whereas you really need. Um, you need to be able to press both of them part of the way down. I'm driving away with this one at the moment. Yeah, I don't like pole, I like second or sixth. Well, in, in, a, in an open lobby race, it really depends on the race. I mean, if it's a competitive race, I want to be starting at the front. But if I want to provide a video for the viewers, then pole position isn't normally that interesting. Unless I get punted, of course, at the beginning, and then have to do some work. Okay, that guy, Zulu Millennium, was in four. He said the fastest lap in qualifying. Slingding is in second. He's very fast, so. Um, don't think this is going to be an easy race. In fact, that gap's already come down to a second. It was at over two. Right on me now already. I can, I can sense him. Yeah, he's coming. And I'm way too deep. I always go deep into that corner. It's so misleading. And he's right on me now. Go down to, to one TCS, go down to one. I can feel it harming me. Okay, the car planted through that section. I think he's going to get past on this straight. I will defend though, I will defend.
And he is 143. What a legend. Hashtag Super GT. Get it trending, lads. Thank you, Adi Eminis. Good to see you tuned in again. Okay, right. That was a successful defence, but I fear that all I'm doing is inviting in more pressure from the rest of the pack. Makes it more interesting, though. So two Americans behind me. It's always nice to race some Americans. Normally I'm uh, only against the Brits or the, the Europeans. Oh, he's break late. I think I didn't. I think I break pretty much on time. Is he gaining? Is he gonna go for it? He's in the Lexus. He's a tenth behind. He's up the inside. Uh, go for the cutback, possibly. Got a run, but I'm on the outside. He's gonna get it. Solid move. Okay, I'm gonna get a good run through here. should be back on him. I'm not going to go defensive this time, I'm just going to go into the slipstream. Slinging to get past though. Slinging, he wants to be, he wants to get past. It's a good race though. See just how little he gains through that corner, as I wasn't brave enough on the throttle. Yeah, that was a really good line by, uh, by Millennium in the lead. I don't think we'll have the pit. We're okay, I feel. This guy is very quick, he's very smooth as well. As you can see, I'm not. He's just edging away. Oh, big moment behind. Is Slingding going to be able to get that move done? He's struggling to get past. The might of Super GT. Oh, there's the mistake. And he's just made a mistake as well. He's still making a mistake. That's a very extended mistake. Slinging. Well, let's get back on the Millennium. I sense that he made a mistake through there. That four of seven. Slinging. Not really able to make an impression. Oh, you see how. Easy it is to get it wrong on the, on the exit. I don't know if you can quite see the map, but oh, okay, that's not good. Oh, sorry. Um, we've kind of broken away as a group of five at the front. Oh, I've got a penalty. Okay. I'm not really sure why I should get a penalty for that, but it's only 0 0.6. I'd like to know what TCS setting these guys are using. I'm struggling on traction. I need to extend that corner a bit more. Maybe I do. Yeah, the gap from fifth to sixth is quite big. There's only 13 people in the race. Mm. 
cars and rails for this section. This goes flying through there. Fourth place isn't too far behind. If I make a big mistake, then he, he's in with a, with a chance. Pushing it to the limit. Slinging with a mistake this time, but I was going to lose too much time as a result. Two more laps. I'm playing on the controller, yeah. Yeah, lots of talk about Gran Turismo 6. Um, just the... Oh, Alpha uh, re, re I never know how to say your name. Donate to Euro. Might join. How are you liking the Super GT cars? Uh, yeah, thanks for the donation. They're very cool, actually. Tricky to drive. Oh, this guy's on me now. Um, tricky to drive, they're, they're very planted through the corners, but they've got so much power that you do have to be mindful on the exits, but they're very cool cars. So yeah, happy to see them in the game. This race is kind of spreading out a little bit now. Yeah, um, the wheel in the back is an Xbox wheel, so. I do have a Cronus Max, but I haven't had time to set it up. And I need to do my PC first, so. guy probably should have taken advantage of that but he didn't okay so one lap showdown between the NSX and the Lexus okay, he's up the inside it's a good move See everyone struggling for traction coming out of that corner. Okay, he's going to go defensive. If I can get a good run for the chicane section then. Let's get him on the back straight, down into the hairpin. Okay, a little bit wide, but top of that slipstream. And you never know. Got fully defensive, look at this. What have happened to the one move rule? Oh man, I had a run, but then I just got a little bit sideways. him into a mistake. Ah, I just went into the back of him. Oh, he's slowing down. Did he have a penalty? Oh, thank you. I'll take the podium then. Okay, that was a cool little race. Yeah, it's the TCS is hard because you put it up and you can really feel the car bogging down. But then you put it down and then you slide out a lot, so it's really hard to get the right balance. Mehmet, thank you for watching, mate. Um, hopefully, I'll see you around next time.
But there we go, that was a good race. I wasn't quite as quick as these two Americans going past me. But it was a good little battle there for, uh, for third at the end. Yeah, the NSX is tricky. I, I feel as though the Lexus was uh, easier to drive. We still have to drive the NSX, uh, sorry, the Nissan, so we can give that a go. There we go. Super GT in the Super GT car. Finishing third. Not bad. It's taking ages to level up. I'm still level 32. There's two spaces left in the lobby. Oh no, no there's not. There's not anymore. Okay, right. Next race. We're going to stay Nashawood. Yeah, it was a good race. Yeah, it was actually. It was very good. We stay with uh, Super GT, but we're going to go for a different circuit. It needs to be something quite big, I think. The Kyoto driving park could be quite good. We could we could do <coughs> could do one around Sukuba. That'd be absolute mayhem. Suzuka, we've just done Monza, Mount Panorama, or Nurburgring GP. I think would be pretty good. Nine laps of Nerd GP. There we go. And I'm going to change my car. Oh, hello. Alpha, once again with the two euro. I try not to be glued to you. Yeah. Sometimes, well, pretty much every time we race, we're just on each other the whole time. Okay, the track's just loading. We just have to wait for that. And his name is Thomas Herman, once again with the 10 euro. All the best from Germany. Shout out to all my German fans out there. Danke, guys. Danke for, ch uh, for tuning in. Um, many thanks, Thomas. Clearly a big Super GT fan. Okay, so we've driven these two. So this time... We will go for the Nissan. Slingding. He's using zero TCS. Wow, okay. I guess you're just really smooth. Possibly on a wheel as well. But okay. Yeah, I, I would always say that less TCS is the way to go rather than more. If you can, if you can handle it. Oh, that's a point. I will turn up the fuel and tyres. Adam Thompson, 449. Happy Easter, Forza God. Best ever. Many thanks. Adam Thompson, absolute legend, mate. Tuning in from Australia. What time is it there now? It's half ten here. So it must be what? Eight in the morning? Oh, this is a lot easier to control. Oh no, wait, because I'm on 3 TCS. Put down to zero. And Slingdings on the controller, okay. Zero TCS on the controller. It can be done. It can be done, guys. Oh, well, this car is loud. Yeah, this sound is mad. Woo! Oh, violent fish tailing. He spun it. Super GT is round. <laughs> Crashed. Okay. Okay, I'm going to put it up to one. Because I'm not that good. Clearly. Ah, FYH Racers has joined. Hello. One of the quickest guys in Forza. But can he do it on a cold, rainy night in Stoke? That's the question. Cold, wet, windy Monday night in Stoke. This sound is pretty mental. Can you even hear my voice? I don't know. This car might be actually too loud. Oh, understeer. Understeer city. Do I like drifting? Um, not really. Well, I don't mind it. It's, I'm not going to say it's a bad thing. I just, it's not really for me. It's a rare mistake from Super GT. It's rare for me to not make a mistake, to be honest. I make a mistake in pretty much every race. It's a, it's a guaranteed thing. 
Just like death and taxes. A Super GT mistake. Okay, I think sometimes with this game you just need to chill out a bit and just remember to be smooth. Which I'm not being. I said it at the start of the stream, you need to be smooth. And patient. Like less is more in this game. Yeah, this the sound of this car is very nice. Is there a car you miss in GT Sport? Um it's hard to say really. It's not really a car I I just, I'd just love to see more cars in the game, of course, but I don't really particularly miss a car. Citroen 2CV, maybe? Well, what kind of times are we looking at here? People are doing... I don't know what people are doing. Oh, 150.7. I think in a group three you're normally doing oh god this is hard um, you're normally doing a 157 56 around here so good five six seconds quicker what am I going to do though 153 not that great ok um, hey GT it's Zulu Millennium I was using zero TCS as well but the Lexus seemed the most stable. I had a slightly tougher time in the NSX, but it seems to corner better. Okay, that's good information. So Zulu just won the race we just did. Um, using zero TCS setting. But saying that the Lexus seems to be a bit easier to drive, which I would agree with. It seemed a bit a bit better. Okay, we're going to go full whack, ten times fuel. That's nine. And then nine on tyre wear too. We're just going to start this race now. A lot of good tracks are missing, yeah. I'd say there's, there's lots of tracks. Do you think that Le Mans is missing for GT Sport? Y yeah, I mean, it's a legendary track. You always want to see a good track like that. And it's weird because... Um, <laughs> it's weird because... Um, it's in the scapes. <laughs> Come on, killing each other. It's in, the, it's in the scapes, so you can take photos of cars at Le Mans, but you can't rate... Oh, I didn't change the grid. I'm on pole again. But um, you can't um, you can't race around it, which is a bit weird. But At what level do you unlock the endurance races? I believe it's level 30. Level 30, you unlock them. Should I turn off TCS completely? I have it on one. I'm a beginner. Oh, disconnected. Oh, my God. Um, I'd say in the long term, zero TCS is the way to go. But I wouldn't say necessarily just turn it off like straight away because, I mean, I still have it on. It's not always easy to drive zero. But if you're very good, that's what you should aspire to be able to do. Okay, so we're going to have to set up a new lobby here. So what were we doing? Nerb. GP. Should we do two laps of this? I reckon this might be more fun actually. Or well, not fun, just... It might be more painful actually, but... I haven't actually done it in this game, so let's give it a go. Okay. Here we go. One pitch, welcome to the stream. Hello. I think they will add Le Mans in the May update. Let's hope, let's hope they do. It'd be a great track to have. Um, yeah, Le Mans, Le Mans, Spa. These are the kind of tracks you definitely need in, in most racing games. Uh, Nurburgring's in here at least. I, I would say the track list is a little bit thin. 
So the fact that they've added Sakoop is a good thing. They need to add more, though. Do you think you'd ever do mixed class race endurance race for lobbies like a one off one off special stream? We could try that. Um, I, I always prefer to do like single class. So, so I'm going to say a massive sorry to everyone who was in that lobby just now, who now isn't in this one. But there's not much I can do really. Midday fine weather. How do drivers like yourself and racers get so fast in Forza? Okay, so the main advice I'd give you is um, there's two things. Race against faster people. So always, I mean, if you're winning every race, then you're not racing against faster people. So join leagues, join higher lobbies, join better lobbies. And two, practice on the leaderboards. So go to the leaderboards, find someone who's faster than you. Try to beat their ghost. Once you beat their ghost, then find another person who's even quicker. And then just learn from the quickest, basically. Learn where they break, where they accelerate, what gear they use. Uh, oh, wait. Have I... What's the restriction here? Oh, shit. I want group two. Sorry. Um, did the game crash? Um, the the online crashed, so the kind of the lobby kind of disconnected. Right. Okay, let's enter. I'm going to drive that Nissan again. Ahmad is 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 leaving. Many thanks. Any tips for a new player to GT Sport? If you're going to play in um, sport mode, you're going to start off with a really low sportsmanship rating. Um, oh shit, we're going this way. Uh, so it's a good idea in the early race. Oh, it's a really, it's a good idea to just be really clean and even don't really fight too much. Just make sure you have a clean race uh, so that you improve your your sports uh, sportsmanship rating. Uh, and that way you'll, you'll, you'll get a better sportsmanship rating and then you'll be able to race against cleaner people. Your racing experience will be a lot better once the sportsmanship gets above B. B or above. A is ideal. All you have to do is just avoid contact. Just don't hit people or don't get hit. So it might be an idea even just to go around at the back, finish last, but just don't hit anyone. Marcus is the first live stream. Many thanks. Good to see many people tune in today. Five hundred, over five hundred people. Oh, is this this chicane? No, I much prefer that chicane. So much easier. Okay, here's the Nordsch Life. Haven't driven it yet in this game, I don't think. I can't remember driving it. Let's see if it's any different than Forza. I mean, I roughly know the track, but. flat out through that one. The car's actually glued to the track. Really bumpy as well. You can see the bumps. Um, turn it out to one. Oh, where's he gone? He's right behind me there. The panels GT car. Yeah, that's a cool car. The was it the Esperante? I remember using that in the early Gran Turismo games as well. Oh my god, this car is so loud, it's actually hurting my ears. Whoops. Can we take it flat? Yes, but only because I went on the grass. Okay, we'll just do this fast section coming up and then we'll begin the race. So this is going to be a very interesting race. Uh, normally a race around here is one where you have to capitalise on people's mistakes. Oh god, that curve is huge. I feel good about the Norse life actually. 
I must have done hundreds of laps around here in total in games. Not in real life, I've never been there, but. Uh, sound bug. Um, yeah, so if anyone just joining, um, there is this. This is a new update, one point one five. There's there are some sound bugs apparently. So if you hear anything weird, then yes. It's since this new update. Oh, I forgot to change the grid again. Okay. Oh well, it'll be interesting. I might go to the back. I'm gonna go to the back and then um, go to the front and see what I can do. Yeah, sorry, the, the stream is getting compressed. Yeah, you're right, it is. Okay, I'm gonna go to the back. Go. Let's do it. Okay, not completely to the back, but. Oh, he spun it. <laughs> so he was on. He's on zero TCS, but it's caught him out there. Two laps of NERB. Twenty-four hour. Okay, this is going to be interesting. In the Super GT cars. So we're trying to work out which one is the best. And so far I'd say the Lexus is better than the NSX. But it might depend on the track, it might depend on how good you are. A bit of a lift. Well, this car is so loud, I need to turn my headset down a little bit. Oh, he's up the inside. Probably could have carried on there, but he's gonna let me go. I suppose I, I have that special benefit that people will be very clean towards me. <laughs> oh, I can hear that car coming flying past. Okay, this is where it gets really hard to overtake. Single file only, lads. Wait for a mistake. I suppose you might as well try to conserve fuel if you can. I'm just trying to work out if we have to pit. We probably will. Ha oh, that guy's off. Oh, very close. We will have to pit at the end of the lap. So it's going to be the same for everyone. Everyone's going to have to pit. But of course. If you do a good job on fuel, oh, these guys crashing everywhere, <laughs> up into sixth place. If you do a good job on fuel, then you, of course, you'll have a short, shorter pit stop. Look how close it is back there. If you do a good job on fuel, then you will save time in the pits. So it's still, still worth doing, even though everyone's going in the pits at the same time. And maxing out sixth gear. Yellow flag. Someone's off. Oh, the car gliding into that corner beautifully. Calster's following me through the pack. Oh, that is a scary corner. Oh, he spun it. Oh, I've been punted. <laughs> Nothing I could do about that. <laughs> Cars are everywhere. <laughs> no one can control the Super GT car. No worry, Cal oh, no worry, Calster. Um, yeah, I mean it happens. I don't think you could really react in time. I had to get on the anchors quite quickly. But yeah, this car is—it's not easy to drive. It—it it feels grippy on the like the fast sweeping corners, but it's the slow corners where it's actually really hard. Um, especially coming out of the corners. Very sharp on the on the throttle. Very sharp indeed. So 
Zulu Millennium there. He won the previous race. Imagine you're right. So many mistakes being made. It might be a mistake. Um, it might be a race of attrition. Who makes the least mistakes will win. M. Thomas in the lead. No surprises. That's F or H. M. Thomas, by the way. He's off. Oh, oh my god. I did a weird little thing with my voice there. Tried to lunge him. Oh my god, it spins everywhere. <laughs> Jesus. Can you imagine? Yeah, if we did a multi class on this. Jesus. I wouldn't even want to begin imagining the possibilities. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> it's, I, I can't even. I can't even commentate on this. It's just mad. Everyone's crashing. It's actually a bit wider than I thought, this this, this version. Like you can probably get... I don't know, but then again, the car is actually quite big, so... Okay, it could have gone a bit quicker through there, but... Good to be safe. Okay, I've got a bit of breathing space now. Okay, probably haven't anymore. God. Oh no, they're on me again. Oh god, the car did not like that. I'm outside of the carousel. They're all queuing up to get past. Oh, come on. I need to be better than this. My aim is to finish third. Oh my god, I'm going to run out of fuel. Where am I? Wait. 0.4 laps. I hope that's 0.4 Nürburgring maps. Or is it 0.4? Yeah, it should be alright. Might have to coast down the, down the long straight. I'm into fifth. I haven't really driven that well, but then again, no one has, so... He's still on me. Zulu Millennium. What's he driving? Uh, Nissan as well. Okay. The fuel's okay. I've still got 0.4. And 0.3 now. Oh, that was... That's as close as you'd like. Okay, I've got a bit of work here to do because fourth place is 13 seconds ahead. Yellow flag though, someone's had some sort of accident. Make it to the pits. Should should be alright. I'm gonna max out here. Cool. The car just completely dies. Oh come on. Oh, he's mid. Oh, no, wait. Oh, shit, yeah, we're not doing that version. <laughs> well, that was a wasted trip into the wall. The pit lane's here, not there. I was going for the other pit lane. I think we're doing the... Just North Life. <laughs> uh, what an Egypt. Oh, press F to pay Bill Gates. As if he isn't rich enough. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah, he's missed. Oh, no, my mistake. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, we're just going to go 100%. 
Oh, I got out ahead. Like I'm in fourth now. Oh, you just, you're really going to put that message on my screen for this entire lap, are you? Good one. It's okay, so I'm somehow in fourth now. I think, uh, who is it? Calsters had, a, had an absolute bear. I'm seven seconds behind Millennium, so I was right behind her going into the pits. So he's done. He's done well. So who wants to see an in oh he spun it? Who wants to see an endurance live stream on Gran Turismo? I I, I want to do another one. Um, I did. I, I don't. Uh, well, I can't talk properly. I've done some on Forza. 243 laps of Sebring. Um, 50 laps of this very circuit on Forza. I'd like to do a Gran Turismo one. In fact, we could do Super GT cars around Suzuka. I think that'd be pretty cool. By 200 laps. And we could do it online. That's the good thing. Forza isn't quite stable enough, I don't think, to do an 8 hour race. 200 laps of this track. Oh my god. That would take about 30 hours. Assuming that I didn't die by that point. But think about the amount of pizzas I could eat for that. Oh my god. That's good. Yeah, I can turn that off, I know. I, I just need to keep... I need. I always forget. But I will turn this off. I think you can move it. I think I'll just move it, to be honest. Do an actual 24-hour race. God, that'd be a nightmare. That um, Sebring one was long enough. That wasn't a good corner. It's just that the braking zone for that is really long compared to what I thought. Oh, he spun it. He's off. So as I said, mistakes being made left, right and centre. We're being tested today, guys. Super GT cars are not easy to drive. And especially on the green hell. Never an easy track to get right. mistake but just about rescued it still only two seconds behind not too far it's like these corners where you, where you throw it in the car goes round look at that it just flies it's these slow corners where you're going to struggle yeah the fast corners are really nice like, going through the S's at Suzuka was beautiful. It goes, goes through there really well. But uh, it's these slow, clumsy corners where I seem to be making all the errors. But once you get it hooked up, it does feel very good. That corner was very good. Anyone know how to earn XP in the fastest way? There is this weird glitch um, that you could do where you can get, get XP really quickly. I don't know if it's still working. Um, you do it on Nürburgring, actually, on this track. Where you kind of... Um, you set it to... You, you drive like a, four, um, a Mazda MX-5 up against LMP1 cars. And then you kind of sit backwards in the pit lane entry for about five seconds. And then it, uh, it kind of resets you. It kind of ends the race, and then you just win the race, and you get loads of credits for it. And, and XP. But I don't know if that's still working. Because I was level 29, and 
and it was taking me ages to get to 30 and I wanted to get to 30 to do the endurance races or unlock them at least so I just did that I don't know if it's still working or if it's patched or not I don't know it's patched okay people say it's patched so I don't know what actually is the best way it's taken me ages to level up I'm on level 32 now it's taken me it's probably taken me about two months to get through level 32 I haven't got any higher oh this track is so bumpy see how bumpy it is catch one bump wrong and uh, we're going into the wall Okay, the guy behind is only still less than two seconds behind, so if I make a mistake, he's... Oh, he's going to make a mistake, actually. If I make a big mistake, he's through. He's still only two and a half seconds behind. The second half's been a lot better, though, than the first. I think M. Thomas is going to quite easily win this one. It felt a lot better in that second lap. Um, M. Tom is actually writing messages while he's racing. That's how in control he is. Yeah, there is a lot of downforce in these cars. It's almost like the faster you go, the better. Just don't break, just just fly, just don't even bother breaking. As long as Super TT does 22 of the 24 hour race, I'm good, yeah. It would be absolute, it would just be pure death doing that. I can't pause it. Am I going to run out of fuel? Do I need to coast here? Yellow flag? What's going on? Okay, no one can overtake me now anyway. I'm in sick. Wait, what the hell happened? Okay, so I wasn't synced up with two people there and then... Boom! You're sick. That was weird. <laughs> Look at that, Nissan GTR seemed to be doing well. Lexus in fifth. So I've driven the three cars. My favourite is probably the Lexus and the Nissan. They're about the same. And then the Honda I found really hard to drive. Next next race, Group X around Sakuba. You know what? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Group X at, at Sakuba. For the Bants. For old time's sake, sixth place, yeah. I just can't avoid it. There's nothing I can do. Now dab, oh. When I get six sixths in a row, then I'll do a dab. Okay. M. Thomas. He's making us all look very silly again. We need to we need to ban him. He's he's actually OP. He's actually OP. Right, race settings. We're doing it guys. Group X at Sakuba. Where is it? It's only a 1.2. Let's do... Let's do 10 laps. I'll go pretty quickly, I think. Grid order. So, uh, reverse grid based on the last race. Uh, group X. There we go. Let the chaos begin. Oh boy. This is going to... This is going to be mad. No tomahawk allowed. Okay. Is the tomahawk like exceptionally fast in this class then? There's a trophy for level 1450. Yeah. Super TT, how old are Venom Force 1 racers? They look like kids. They do look very young in that photo. Um, 
I think they're late teens. Although I think Venom I might be early twenties, but they're around about like eighteen to twenty ish. Right, um let's see what we've got. Wait. Group X. So you can choose any car here, but this so a lot of these cars are in group X, it doesn't really place them in a class. Oh, I don't really have I don't have every good car. Maybe one of these. Um go for a Hyundai. Group X, baby. Let's do it. This is going to be absolute madness. Let's, let's see how this car goes around here. All right, can we change that? Um... How do you change the fuel thing? The fuel warning. Can't see it. Okay, this car isn't actually that quick. It's only got one gear. You know what? I don't think this race will go that well. We'll just do Super GT cars because that will still be pretty mental. So I don't think everyone has the correct kind of car for this. We'll just do Super GT. See how it goes. Um, okay. I'm going to go for the Lexus. I, I like that. Almost. Right, let's go. Fave Forza title GT. Um, probably six, actually. I know that everyone likes two and four, but I actually had the best experience with six. So, yeah, I'm going to say six, but four and two are pretty much as good. All the, all the uh, even numbers are the best ones. Yeah, so about that fuel message thing, I don't know how to change it. I'm pretty sure you can because someone showed me a mess uh, showed me a picture on Twitter, and their message was higher up. You see where it says outlap? It was pretty much just below that, so you could I could still see, or well, they could still see. So um, I don't know. There seems some difference. At least this person could see. Good show, actually. Someone just mentioned the, way the new BMW. We'll, um, we'll give that a go. Uh, let's start the race. Penalty for that. Okay. FM6 is better than FM7. As it stands, I'd say. But... Hopefully, as Forza 7 goes on, they will improve it. Okay, here we go. Fastest at the back. Slowest at the front. Apparently. Let's see how, they, let's see how it goes. Right. Will M. Thomas come through to win? That's the question. Okay, here we go. These cars are a bit too quick for this kind of track, but let the games begin. Should be fun. Wait, I'm on automatic gears, what the hell? Okay, I'm on, I'm on automatic. 
roadside for some reason. Um, that guy just disappeared. Who knows what's going on here, guys? Who knows? I, think I must have accidentally changed my shifting settings. Oh, that guy's off. Purple sectors. Oh, he's drifting wide. Oh, nearly. He's going to get me. It's wide. It's actually not too bad a track for these cars. It's, it's very small, but it's not as bad as I thought it would be. struggling on auto. See a good race though, you see how kind of evenly balanced everyone is. people crashing. Bullet then takes the lead. He's actually got the fastest lap as well. Oh, he spun it. Apache. He was in the lead for the first couple of laps, but then he's blown it. His chance that he's 15 minutes of fame. Look at that pack. It's very close. It's quite a hard track to overtake out of it. It's very, it's very small. There it is at the end of the curb. Oh, he's he's binned it. I did. Oh, this guy's got coming up very quickly. Big queue behind. Queuing up to get past me. You can see it's... Oh, ow. I was just about to say, it's a theme of this of this um, live stream. That people are making a lot of mistakes. That's me included. These cars aren't easy. That's the challenge though. It's always good to have something that's not easy to drive. They're fun to drive though. Seems like I'm a bit off the pace here. That might just be because of manual, uh, sorry, auto, auto gears. I don't know if that's making much of a difference. Top three are kind of close to each other. If they start fighting, it might help. The fastest lap is 50.6, and I'm doing a 52.4. I'm a long way off. To that. Although Bullet's now done a 50.2. Oh, trying to be so careful, but then that's actually worked. Oh my god, now everyone's going to get past me. The entire world just goes past. It's bloody close, though, I can tell you that. Look at this. Get the undercut. El Nacho Libre. Millennium in the Honda. Just going to slot in in eighth. That's actually a good little race. I didn't think this would go that well. I kind of did it as a joke, but it's actually not bad. Oh, 
Ah, oh, it's Alpha again. We found ourselves together once more. You see, I'm slowly going backwards in this race. I was fourth at one point. Now, now I'm tenth. <laughs> Everyone's struggling for traction. It's so hard. Still three laps to go. Something could be on here. Especially if I just do that. <laughs> we have to let him go. <laughs> He's giving me a cheeky little punt on the way through. Bullet with a 49.7. Jesus, who is this guy? He's Dutch. We'll just call him Verstappen, of course. Anyone from Holland is just automatically Verstappen. Mr. Thunder, welcome to the stream. Hello. Yeah, so anyone who's just joined the Super GT cars. Great addition to the game. Not too easy to drive, but very fun. Uh, they really fly through the corners. Um, on depends on the track but they're normally about six to ten seconds a lap quicker than a group three car so they are definitely faster okay this is one of my worst races that i've done today i've made loads of mistakes i don't know how much manual is is hurting me though it feels like it is After this race, though, we're going to drive something a little bit slower. Maybe go to the... Some of the new cars. I don't know if I've actually got the BMW. I need to buy it. It's a very close race up there. I think from about 4th to ninth, They're all on each other. You can see how much I've dropped off in this race. Oh, someone's off. Okay, that was a not too bad race, actually. Um, I mean, for other people, not for me. It's not great. There we go. A victory for Bullet. He was in the Lexus as well. He was flying. It's 11 seconds ahead. The auto. Yeah, it, I think it did. I was just... Nothing I could do, really. I was about a second or two off a lap. Not much you can do. Check the lobby settings. Yes. There might have been something going on there. Look at him, he's standing in disappointment. It's a lovely looking car though. Oh, BOP was off, okay. So I, I just messed up that whole race. I don't know why it was off, it should be on. Um, let's have a look. BOP, uh, there we go. On. Now, um, let's have a look at these new cars. Like the, let's go to infield A. Is this the one? Yeah. So I don't know how many cars I have for this. I don't know if many people do have them, but we'll just do a slower race. See what we can do. Something different. Oh, 
Group X turned it off. Okay, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. So what have we got here then? Let's try 500. Sorry, I just want to go through some of these. Wait, can I edit? There we go. Um, what am I looking at? Oh, there's quite. Um, oh, what are these new cars? I need to find out what these new cars. What cars? Are they? GT Planet, where are you? I always go for any information. I go to GT Planet or just the official Gran Turismo site. Normally both very useful. Uh, news. Uh, update details. One point one five. I was in 200, okay. Go with that then. I don't know if anyone has it. The new the, the new RX-7 is what I'm planning here, but it's just an open N200 race. What have we got? Actually, yeah, I'm going to back out, buy, buy a couple of these cars, and then we, we'll come back. And that gives a chance to refresh the lobby. Um, yeah, so the BMW M3, the 89 M3 is N200, as is the Mazda RX-7 GTX. So if you guys want to start buying some of those, then we'll race them. Okay, um, Brand Central. Oliver Hansen's woke up at 3 a.m. and he's woken up for the live stream. Good stuff, mate. I expect nothing less. <laughs> no, it's good to have you on board. Good to have anyone on board. Always. Um, so the cars you might want to buy are N200 cars. So this, that's RX7 GTX 1990. And the other one is the 1989 BMW M3. Couple of little classics. Marcus Kinlo, five thirty in my part of the states. Yeah, so was it half eleven here? I'm still adjusting because I was in Seattle not too long ago, and it's like it's me it's messed me up because it's like an eight hour time gap. Um, what's the other guy? BMW, not American. European and. Deutschland. Let's go to Deutschland. BMW. Six thirty in Toronto. Yeah, it was. I think it's eight hours behind. Uh, Seattle compared to where I live here. In the United Kingdom. There we go. BMW M3 Classic. Go for red on this one. Gary English, your videos are amazing, bro. Many thanks. Glad to hear you enjoy them. Yeah, it's a lot of credits for a new little for an old BMW. Seattle's very good. I really enjoyed it, but it was just too short. Um, but yeah, it was really nice. It's a really nice city, actually. Really nice. Okay, here we go. We're gonna create the lobby. So it's gonna be N two hundred. This this uh, these last couple of races here. Uh, so Let's load one of these settings. I'll set the order, even though I keep forgetting like every time. Uh, rolling start. Here we go, N200. BOP on. And the track, oh, where should we go? We've just done Saku, but I was going to do the infield here. Yeah, we'll do that. I think that's quite, be quite interesting. Let's do seven laps. Okay, lobby has been created. Good luck. Yeah, that message is just annoying. It's just like, it's just on the horizon of the track where you're looking. It's just very frustrating height. It's possible to drive with it, but it's just very off-putting. It'd be very nice if we could just move it a little bit. So I'd, I'd love 
I like eye racing in, in the way that you can just move the heart exactly where you want it. It's, it's really use that's useful. Marcus Kindler, can't wait to see the, yeah, can't wait to see the Forza RC. Yep, it all begins next week. I can't wait to just take part in it. See, see how I fare against everyone. Okay, so do I start with the RX7 or the BMW M3? That's a good question. Apparently they fixed the penalty system too. It does seem a little bit better now than what it was before. I haven't actually got many stupid penalties today, but um, I haven't really tested it out completely. Super GT, Jimmy and Z28 don't have racing game YouTubers like you in Brazil. I haven't seen many yeah, Brazilians playing, to be honest, but um, I'm glad that I've got fans all around the world. RX7, we'll go to RX7, yeah, good shout. Or all across the flat earth, depends what your opinion is on. Wait, oh, I need to change the tyre setting. Sports hard, okay, yeah. Uh, where are the tyres? Maximum sports hard. Can I enter now? Yes, we can. Earth is definitely flat. Yeah. It explains why I kept falling off the edge all the time. Steve, you chica, when is your next kart race? Um, yeah, my next kart race is um, so two weeks from Saturday, so about sixteen days time. I'm going to be racing twice on that weekend. Turn that traffic control down. So, I normally do the sprint. Oh, it's on automatic as well. Um, oh, why can't I change that? Wait, let's go back. Um, yeah, I um, I normally do the sprint races on Sunday, but this time I'm going to also be doing the endurance racing on the Saturday. So. Of course, I, I upload all my videos onto my second channel for the karting races anyway. So if you want to have a look, it's in the description, the link to my second channel. If you want to have a look at the kart races. So yeah, two weeks away from this weekend and I'll be racing. Yeah, it's at Wilton Mill. A really good track, one of the best tracks. Probably my favourite track in the UK or well, in the world because I haven't been to many other kart tracks in the world. So Oh, I'm just it. Now this really brings me back to the old Gran Turismo, driving these classic 90s Japanese cars. Oh my god. I need to learn how to drive these things. EDM Wolf, hello from South Africa, hello. From South Africa, man. It's my best, it's my best accent of, of a South African. Probably really bad. And probably really insulting. No, I don't know. Actually, why would that be insulting? I'm just trying the accent. I'd like to go to South Africa one day. It's a, I think it's a really unique and interesting country. And with some really famous landmarks too. Table Mountain. BOP is on, I believe, yes. Kaust is asking in the chat. Do you race at Rye House? Yes. I'll be racing there two weeks after the... Wilton Mill race, so I've been there before, plenty of times. Hugh Honey, finally caught up with the stream. What do you think of the cars? Uh, are these cars group two all about? Any recommendation to first purchase in that category? Um, so yeah, the cars. Oh, oh, that's what happens when you read comments. Um, yeah, the car, the, the Super GT cars are all group two. They're very cool. They're they're very fast. Good aerodynamic grip, tricky on the throttle, not too easy to drive, you, you'll make plenty of mistakes. From what I can tell, the Nissan and the Lexus seem to be easier to drive, but the Honda might be as fast, but you just have to drive it a bit more carefully. But they're all very good good fun, it's a good update. But now we're, we're going to drive a couple of these N200 cars, 
so this car was also added to the game, the Savannah RX-7 from 1990. Some people might be in the BMW M3, the 1989 M3. So it's actually pretty slight on the throttle coming out of the corners, this car as well. Despite being quite a low class. Yeah, I'm struggling. I am. Although I haven't got my headset on, so I'm struggling to. I need to listen and concentrate properly. <laughs> Right, that's enough. Let's let's get going. Let's brake check him. Ah, oh, ghosted out. What is your class eight? Your what's you classed as you home car circuit home car track? What do I class as my home car track? Um, I'm very close to Buckmore Park, and I race there quite a lot. So. I'm on pole. Oh, I've got to change the grid again. Okay, pole position won't last long. There's some fast people behind me, so. Alright, here we go then. The new, uh, the new Blue Moon infield layout. I forgot to mention this track earlier, because this is a new track, technically. Okay, there was a sound glitch there because I couldn't hear the timer. Right, here we go. Something very different. The Super GT cars are very fast. Now these are completely different. So I, I need to change my focus, I think. I just need to make less mistakes. And Go for consistency. Oh, Millennium's got the, the auto drive bug. Seems to happen quite a lot. Um, and I really, I, I'm not sure what the cure is, to be honest. Um, so it just seems to be a bug where people start the race and this, the car's just driving for them. And I don't know what to do about that, to be honest. Okay, I need to make the most of their fighting back there. Get away while I can. <laughs> oh, Dibbler's followed me. Don't follow my lines, mate. Don't follow my lines. You will crash. Okay, there's a big group behind. Need to pull away as early as I can. I thought you were near Brands Hatch. I am near Brands Hatch. Buckmore Park and Brands Hatch are, are quite close to each other, so they can both be my local circuits, and they are. Okay, you can see I've immediately adapted my driving to this car. Patience is the key. Smoothness too. But then again, that's that's true of every car. Oh, see you later, lads. You don't stand a chance. I'm on form. Will we have to pit? That's the question. Okay, right. I'm just trying to read that comment. Oh, he's sliding. <laughs> Unlucky pal. Yeah, um, people are reporting quite a lot of bugs since this update. And this auto drive thing seems to perhaps have come back again. Okay, that was a lot smoother. That was nice. I'm pulling away. Come on, guys. I shouldn't be winning races. My home track would be Pikes Peak Hill Climb. Oh, wow. Whereabouts is that? I don't actually... Is it... This might sound really stupid. Is it in Colorado? 
Or am I being really silly? I'm just trying to think exactly where it is. No tire squeals, yes. Um, this is one of the, t the sound bugs that has seems to have come up since this update. Uh, there's, there's some problems with sound, especially. You are correct, okay. Yeah, Pike's Peak is cool. I'd love to go there. Who can forget the amazing Suzuki Escudo Pike's Peak edition from Gran Turismo? Absolute monster of a car. With the wing basically the size of the car. I think that's one of the most legendary cars in all of Gran Turismo. The, the Escudo Pike's Peak. Yeah, so my home track, Brands Hatch, that's my home, like, proper race circuit. Um, I'm hoping to go to the DTM later this year. They're coming back. Although, weirdly, they only use the... Um, oh, they're gaining on me. They only use the indie circuit, like the shorter version. It'd be nice to see them use the full version. Okay, I'm two seconds off of Calister's pace. So... Need to improve. They seem to. Our oh, experts has made a mistake. They seem to be gaining on me in that last lap, but then they slow down again. Okay, this is going well. The, the good thing for me is that they're all very close, and therefore they're all going to be fighting. But Calster. He's now in third. He's two seconds a lap faster. So. DTM are using the, uh, the GP loop. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Um, I suppose with Indy, at least, I mean, you get to see the cars more often. But uh, you'd always prefer to see them on the full circuit. The noise those cars make. Oh, wow. It's amazing. So now, now I'm suddenly four seconds ahead. Then if Calster can keep up his two seconds at that faster rate, then he might catch up. My home track would be the Extenders Paradise that is Hockenheim. <laughs> yeah. Who, who doesn't love a good extender around turn one at Hockenheim? Extend City, that is. Time to do uh, do 30.3, I'm a bit better, a bit quicker. That's not a good line for that first corner. My track's a Nordschleife. No, I. it's one of my ambitions to go to the Nordschleife one day, just do a couple of laps, I'd love to do it. Just to see the place for real. I heard it's quite a fearsome place to go around, like on, the, on these track days. Like it's, it's genuinely dangerous. Like people are pretty crazy. Calster is catching. I need to be careful here because I think he could do it. Just need to lap my best. He's catching up quickly, Jesus. He's caught up a second on this lap already. Come on. Okay, he's back up to over three seconds. Okay. Oh, he's sliding it. Oh, man. He held that. He's putting that BMW to good use. That gap is coming right down on this long straight. Mm, this could be a very interesting f finish to this race. Lemonade. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Oh, my God. Big mistake again. He's gaining. Okay, I lost a second there. Stupid mistake. Okay, 
Okay, that was a good corner. Bring it, Cowster. Might have to go defensive AF on this last lap. Nearly midnight. Jeez, this stream's gone really fast. Two and a half hours it's been streaming. Come on! Oh. Yeah, one more lap. He's within 1.2. Right. This is where it gets scary. So I'm putting away a bit here. I need to concentrate this time. Still wide. Oh my god. Where is he? Where is he? God's sake. He's right on me now. <laughs> I'm moving right as much as I can. <laughs> Strong defence. Oh no, come on. Yes, he's hit the wall. Come on. Last corner. He might get a slipstream run on me though. The M3 is far. Yeah, the M3 does seem quicker. I'm going to win a race. Rosberg defense. Yeah. Just. That was a Rosberg. I did a I Rosberg in there. Just don't turn, basically. Just go in and don't turn. Run them wide. Oh, I won a race. Something. Um, how can you join this lobby? You kind of just have to find it on the lobby menu. It's just called Super GT. But good luck, because it'll probably be full. That was a... Good race. Um, started off quite easily, but then this Calster guy just kind of came out of nowhere. Looks like the M3 was good. So we'll do another race in these cars, and I'll give the M3 a go. That was a close race. I think it was a bit questionable, the defence at the end there, but <laughs> it's only for a laugh, isn't it? Look at that. Woo. Victory, baby. Yes, I'll change the grid order to reverse. That's a good, very good point. And I'll do that first because I know I'll forget. Uh, reverse of that. Uh, yeah. The next track. I think Brands Indy would be a good shout, actually. Yeah, let's do Brands Indy. Um, it's going to be the last race as well. It's going to be the last race. BOP is on. Oh, I need to change car yet. Yeah. Apache is off for the night. Many thanks for joining. Many thanks. What is your car brand of choice? Um, I kind of just like lots of different brands. I, I, I don't know. I don't really particularly stick to one brand for 
I just I don't know. I just like lots of different ones. It's always a hard answer, hard question to answer for me. Right. Okay. Last race. Let's see how it goes. Going in the M3 this time. Jeez, I can't really see much coming through there. Well, that view is a bit too low, I think. Oh, it needs to turn TCS off. Yeah, TCS just kills you. In, in, in any of these slower cars, it just kills you. I've actually driven this track in real life in a Formula 4 car and a BMW M3, one of the new ones. It's actually a very difficult track to get right. Audi, BMW or Mercedes. Um, I like car There are cars I like from each of the brands. I probably like Mercedes the most, then BMW, then Audi. But I absolutely, I, I love the BMW M4. I love that car. I, I, I'm a fan of Mercedes mainly because of their Formula One stuff. But if I had to get, if I had to buy a car from one of the brands, I'd. I'll get a BMW M M4. I mean, if I could afford it, which I can't. Norbert Black Cat's here. Well done. Well done for tuning in. Hello. Oh, crashing. Yeah, I was going to say the the guy's wrists are pretty like. Just look at his wrists. He's got some sort of deformity there. I guess he's been rammed off and he's like broken his wrist. The steering wheel kind of buckled on him. Look at that big group up ahead, wow. Need to be a bit smoother than that. Good choice with the M4. I, I love an M4. The sound they make as well is, is, is amazing. Oh god, this car is... Um, you put the throttle down and you feel as though it's okay, then it just snaps a little bit. And it's double jointed AF. <laughs> okay, let's do one more lap. Not an easy track to get right is uh, Brands Hatch. Yeah, so this weekend, guys, I'm going to be building my PC. Oh, this guy's facing the wrong way. I'm doing my best to build my PC. So there might be a little bit of downtime with the videos. And then next week, we're starting the Falls of Racing Championship. Okay, that's enough. Let's go. You can't unsee those wrists. That is really weird, isn't it? It's like... What are you doing, bro? I want to see a sub one minute. Okay, that's the challenge of the race. We've got 13 laps to do it. Reverse grids. So where am I starting? 16th. Oh yeah, I won the last race, didn't I? So we've got a couple of M3s in here. Good to see some lower class racing, I suppose. So then, let's go, last race. Let's get it done, shall we? Let's 
straight past Calster. Now, we've got nine times tyre and fuel, so we probably will have to... I'm going to go lean for a bit. While we're waiting for everyone to sort themselves out. I'm not going to lose too much time by doing it. Oh, he sent it. That arm is so weird. He's gone way too deep. Calster around the outside on the grass. <laughs> okay, oh. Punting everywhere, punting. First place is only... F oh, what's happened there? Okay, collision. There's someone just rejoining on the right-hand side. If I'm past the action, I can now overtake. Banging off that rev limiter like a boss. Coming 10th. Oh, sliding. Come on, give me a boost. That's a corner cut. Ah, uh, Zulu's in auto drive, unfortunately. Oh man. Oh, it's getting cosy up there. Let's give each other space, guys. The leading battle isn't too far ahead. to the head. He's going to give me space. I'm going to give him space. The car's queuing up behind now to get through. Oh, he just come out of that ghost, for God's sake, at the wrong moment. I was hoping to go through him. Someone spun. What a huge group. Which I don't know if we will have to pit. These cars aren't too hungry on fuel, so we might be okay. Oh, he's wide. I'm going three positions there. <laughs> slide and have to block him that was a good little sequence though um, ninth to fifth top three are long gone we've got another Verstappen in third place just loving that I can see why he was sliding so much in the last race, the guy behind me. Um, yeah, that, that wrist action is unusual. I, I think we'll be okay on fuel. Should be okay. He knows I'm coming. He knows it. It's actually very fun driving in this view. Can I get a run? I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, that's a cut. Come on. Oh, 
that's the alternative line into that corner. <laughs> it actually helped me to get a really good exit. Right on him. That gap's going to open up. Pressurise him to go, to go narrow. And hopefully deep. Get him on the exit. Do it the long way round. Look to get a good exit on the undercut. It's good racing. It's just about going to get the get the initiative. Got to run this time, surely. Uh. Oh, he's gone narrow. Good move, good defensive move. Okay, can I get past this guy? He's, uh, he's doing a good job defensively. Um, we've got a couple of people right behind us now. We'll be looking to get in on it. Oh my god, big moment. Big, big moment. Just touched the gravel in it. Sent me nearly spinning. Ooh, he's having a big moment too. People not having an easy time driving this car. Oh, he's going to get a run on me now. Where is he? Have to give him a car whip. Oh, still got the inside line though. All over the place here. I think he's there. This camera's kind of awkward. I can't tell where he is. He's, he's, he's in my blind spot. I know he's pulled, he's pulled out now. Come on, let's catch back up to this guy. Got defensive for a couple of laps there. Get back on the attack, get into fourth. I think I just need to stay in third gear. Oh, sorry. That was a bit of a silly move. I might need to stay in third gear for that, for that left hander. There's a big queue forming behind me, Jesus. Oh my god, right. One mistake and I'm down about five places. This is good stuff though, it's really good. It's a good race. And he's gonna look to get by. I'm gonna try to stay around the outside. Where's he gone? I don't actually know where he is. Oh, he's on the outside. <laughs> and there's this guy. Oh. Come on, I need, to, I need to put together a good lap here. Oh no, not like that, am I? <laughs> Jesus. Oh no, I've got a penalty for that. Okay, so well, I was fighting for fourth, but now ah, it's fifth. I've got a penalty. Oh god, it's a it's a good battle though. I'll give it that. It's a good. Oh, my penalty's gone. Maybe I'll be a bit more comfortable following. We could all work together here as a team to catch back up with fourth, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. Come on, Chris Griffiths. 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 Oh my god, I always struggle to pronounce that name. Griffiths. Oh no, that's it. We're making too many mistakes. Fourth place is getting away. Oh, 
he's wide. Can I do him on the undercut on the exit? Come on, Rosa. Catch up with fourth. Just tow us along. Hello. How are you doing? Oh, the MR2's bo uh, boosting him along. Bomb drafting him. Team play. Oh no. Sorry. Where is he? Yeah, I just need to stay in third gear for that, for that corner. He's got a slow, bad run out of that one. Around the outside. Done it. Struggling to control the car on the brakes into that corner. And out of it. <laughs> it's like fifth is catching up to fourth, but I've only got two laps left and I'm a long way off. And these guys, look at them, they're queuing up to get past. They're queuing up. They want to get by. I'm defending for my life for sixth place. Where is he? Where is he? Someone there. I can't tell where though. He's on my inside, I think. I know he's probably behind me now. I did a 59.4, so someone challenged me to be to do a sub one minute. I've done that. And again, I keep changing gear there when I don't need to. Rose is caught up with fourth, but I'm going to need them to really start fighting if I want to catch back up with them. I can't see it happening. Actually, no, Rose is trying to get past. Okay, I've got the annoying fuel thing now, but... Oh, no! They're all, they're all going to do me here. The MR2 has gone past. They're all on my inside. Jesus. I'm in ninth. Oh, the MR2 is wide. Oh, contact! <laughs> I'm going to go up the inside. Back up into sixth. How has that happened? Tell me how the hell that has happened. <laughs> Amazing drama here at Brands Hatch. Okay, stay in third gear. Keep those revs up. He hasn't got a run. Oh my god, that GT86 flies out of the, out of the corners. Fully defensive line. Man, GT86 is going to do it, is he? No, couldn't quite get it done. I'm going to finish in sixth place, of course. Oh, wow, what a race. What a race. That was a great little race at the end there. I enjoyed that one. Good stuff. It was my destiny, indeed. I enjoyed that. Um, it was quite hard driving a cock with you because it's hard to see everyone all the time but there we go Super GT C Baz8808 has donated 4.99. F <laughs> thank you for the, thanks for the donation there Baz hope you enjoyed the the live stream yeah, the 86 uh, is very quick very quick indeed but thank you to all these guys for joining and of course for all of you for watching. Glad to have you all on board. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed a couple of those races. Super GT cars are very good. Um, we did a couple of the slower cars there, the nine Nissan the nineteen ninety RX seven and the eighty nine M three. Cool cars. And it's good to have these cars added to the game. Um, but yeah, cheers guys. Um, I'm going to be building my PC this weekend. There might be a bit of a break. I'll do my best. Seattle video coming very soon. Forza RC coming very soon. Starts Monday. Um, I'll see what I can do about videos. But I'll have to qualify for the kind of like the weekly finals. But there are ghost races. Which I should really get into. So that might be worth a video. We'll see. 
But yeah, thank you very much, guys. I shall see you next time. Goodbye.